before One UI 4.5 update, to get a QWERTY keyboard on your Watch 4, you needed to install Google Gboard. However, Samsung has launched a new and improved keyboard that looks like it can finally rival Google Gboard. So let's discuss which keyboard offers what features and which one is a better option for you. You don't need to install anything to get this keyboard. Just make sure your watch is running on One UI 4.5. Secondly, if you have installed Gboard and selected it as the default keyboard, then you would need to switch it to the Samsung keyboard. To do that, open settings, go to general, and here open the keyboard list and default option. Now on the next screen, tap on the default keyboard and now you can switch your default keyboard. So if you are using Gboard, then switch to the Samsung keyboard to get access to the new and improved keyboard. Let's now see this new and improved keyboard in action. Typing experience of the Samsung keyboard and Gboard is more or less the same. One thing that is new and exciting is this swiping gesture. A swipe from below will bring you various options to choose from. Here you will find emoji, handwriting mode, text to speech and other options. You can quickly switch between all the modes. Gboard doesn't have this built-in handwriting keyboard support like the Samsung keyboard. Now let's compare it with Gboard. On the Gboard, you get access to emojis, numerical keyboard and voice to text features right above the keyboard. I personally prefer the way Gboard shows me emojis for selection over the Samsung way but it can be subjective. One thing to note here is that Samsung's new keyboard feels easy to type in and Gboard feels a little cramped. It can lead to increased mistakes while typing on the watch. So if you want more space between the alphabets, then use Samsung's keyboard. However, if you are going to use voice to text most of the time, then I would recommend going with Gboard. It works better and supports various languages. Let's now discuss some settings that you can access on both the keyboards. Starting off with the Gboard, you can download support for different languages Enable vibration for key press, pop up on key press, and enable glide type, which basically means typing by swiping your fingers. On Samsung keyboard, you also get the ability to enable different language support. Enable predictive text, auto replace, auto capitalize, enable double space gesture to add full stop and enable swipe keyboard. Like Gboard, you can also enable sound and vibration for typing. Samsung has more or less caught up with Gboard, but I still prefer using Gboard. Which one do you like? Tell me in the comment section down below. So guys, that was it for today. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to our channel. We come out with wearable tech videos like this almost every day. So subscribe. See you here next time.